a welcome it's so sad to say this might be the last time you'll be watching my video why because ai just replaced me now that is not just a statement i'll show you in this video how you can use the new gemini 2.0 to learn virtually any digital skills i want you to guide me step by step how to design the new thumbnail okay i understand you need to start with a new blank page in canva to do that in the top left corner please click the plus create a design button at the top left of your screen then select custom size and enter 1280 pixels for the width and 720 pixels for the height which is the standard youtube thumbnail size then click create new design okay that is kind of helpful this has just disrupted course creation uh digital education and all of that this will be the second time i'll be saying google is finally getting ai right so if you have been doubting google for a very long time trust me in 2025 and beyond they will be one of the leaders in everything ai just this week they released project juice project astra project marina although i'll not be covering all of that in this particular video but i'm just trying to say after the first video i made about notebook lm this is the second time i'm saying they are actually at the top of their game if you are doubting just watch this video okay so this is how you can actually try this out just go to aistudio.google.com forward slash live or visit the link you are currently seeing on your screen so we'll be using gemini 2.0 through the api I guess uh, Google is tired of telling the public what their AI can do. Now they are giving us free API usage so as to test and check what it can actually do. So once you land on that page, of course you need a Google account, a Gmail, something like that. So once you land on that page, you'll see these three um, options. You can talk to Gemini with your voice. You can also use your webcam to share what you are looking at and get real-time feedback with gemini and the last one here is share your screen which is what we'll be using now let me also add to this open ai that is chargbt also released something similar to this I think yesterday or two days ago but at the moment it's not rolled out to whole account even though i'm on the pro version so you can use that or use this but i will tell you this is still the best if you want to learn but if it's to show AI your video and um, have real-time conversation, you can try ChatGPT. This will also work. Okay, so I'll begin by asking it what it can see on screen. Then I'll proceed to give it instruction to guide me on how to do something. In this case, we'll start with designing a web page, a landing page, or a sales page, something like that. So all you need to do is click on share your screen, then select the page where you want to share the screen you can see connection field so you need to make sure the stream is properly connected okay so let's see for the last time i tell me what you can see on my screen this is welcome i'm adelie samuel who is described as a growth marketing strategist and ai consultant below that there is a button that says pick my brain I would like you to guide me on how I can insert a video with a button beneath the video. To add a video with a button beneath it, first, drag the video element from the panel on the left and drop it on the page in the desired location. Then, drag the button element below it. You may need to adjust the spacing. Let me know if you need any more help. But in that case, where should I drag the video? Because there is no space for the video element. section element first. Try dragging the intersection element onto the page, then drag the video element into that intersection. That should provide a space for the video. So I noticed uh, the inner section won't work in this case because it is just like bringing the section into an existing section. So I'm thinking is there a way to have a separate section for the video element and the buttons? Okay, I understand now. You want to create a completely separate section rather than adding an intersection within an existing section. Exactly. Drag a new... Right, in that case, you should drag the intersection element below the current AI assistant section and then add your video element within that new intersection. 
it's okay no problem i think you do not know much about elementor at the moment but in this case i would use i can see add section so i'll just click on that and then i will add the section right i see the select your structure options now it gives you choices for the layout of your new intersection which structure are you looking to use for your video and button uh let's drag in the inner section first okay it sounds like you want to drag in an inner section to create a four column layout i see you've already selected the intersection element on the left side now you just need to drag and drop it below the ai assistance section okay i see the intersection with a two column structure has been added now you can add your video element and button elements into the section. Do you need any more guidance? Not really, just hold on, let me round up with this. Okay, it seems like you've added an intersection with two columns beneath the AI assistance section. You can now add elements into each of those columns, like the video and button elements you mentioned earlier. Let me know if you need help with that. Okay, so I've added the video. Now let me add the button element. <laughs> Okay, so another use case would be asking the AI to check some of my YouTube thumbnails and then suggest a thumbnail idea for this particular video I'm recording and even guide me on how I can design the thumbnail using Canva. Let's try that. Then uh, I'll select the tab and share. I, what can you see on my screen? Okay, I can describe what I see on your screen. There's a Canva design project that appears to be a YouTube thumbnail about using AI for graphic design. It features a man with a surprised expression in text that reads, suck at design, use AI to generate graphic design. Okay, look at these two images. I see the screen now shows two Canva designs. The top one says new way to design graphics using AI, and the bottom one says open AI Sora is live best text to video AI. Both thumbnails include a surprised looking man. Okay, so I would like to design a thumbnail for this particular video I'm currently recording. The thumbnail should have a text that says AI replaced me. So I want you to first of all describe the subject that should be on the thumbnail and its expression and also any element or object that I need to have on the thumbnail and maybe some other design uh, tips here and there that you can share with me. Alright, let's get started. Since you mentioned A, I replaced me, we can explore a few options. You could use a picture of yourself looking surprised or shocked, similar to the expressions you are currently using in your other thumbnails. Alternatively, you could use an image of a robot or AI figure looking like they're taking your place. Okay. Alright, you know what? I would uh, use the same subject, but I want you to guide me step by step how to design the new thumbnail. Okay, I understand. So, you want to use the same subject and expression as in the current thumbnails, but need guidance on how to design a new thumbnail with that same image in Canva, including the text, AI replaced me. Exactly, yes. Okay, I understand. You need to start with a new blank page in Canva. To do that, in the top left corner, click on Design, and select Create New Design. After that, you will see the page where you can start creating your thumbnail. Do you see that? now. To create a new design, please click the plus create a design button at the top left of your screen. Then select custom size and enter 1280 pixels for the width and 720 pixels for the height, which is the standard YouTube thumbnail size. Then click create new design. Okay, that is kind of helpful, but since I have some of the thumbnails on a particular page, I think I can easily just duplicate one of the designs and just edit the text. What do you think? If you already have a design you like, duplicating it and then changing the text is a very efficient approach. Okay, uh, I just duplicated a page. Now what you need to do is edit the text to say, I replaced me. To do this, click on the text you want to change and you will be able to edit it. So what do you think about this? Okay, I see the text now says AI replaced me. It looks good. The text is large and easy to read. Is there anything else you'd like to adjust with your thumbnail? Um, honestly, I do not know unless you have maybe a suggestion for me. Well, one idea you could consider is adding a different background color or an image background behind your picture and the text. It may help the thumbnail stand out. What do you think about that? 
Uh, well, that's a nice idea. Though I've tested so many backgrounds over time, this is just the perfect one that resonates with my YouTube audience. By the way, if you're not part of the AI tribe, I would advise you join the AI tribe. Go to adelikdesama.com forward slash AI dash tribe. That is where I share the latest updates regarding the world of AI and also you automatically receive my AI newsletter, the AI Hedge. Okay, so that will be all for now. If you love this video, like, drop a comment and also share with your community. That will be all for now and I will see my next video. Bye for now.